Hi, welcome to my studio. I'm David Roloffs. I recently completed this picture of an ocelot. Stick around and I'll show you how it was done. Oh, hi. Uh, I was just starting a new picture here. This is going to be an ocelot. Uh, what I'm doing now is doing an underpainting with uh, India ink just to get the, the tones in. It will be a, a pastel picture in full color when it's done. So uh, as I said, I'm just doing the underpainting now. Well, what I'm doing here is uh, laying in uh, the first layer of the background. It's going to be fairly dark, uh, mostly black with a greenish tint. So I'm laying a little green in here, and I'm going to go over it with black. I'll probably have to add a little more green to kind of blend it in, but we'll see how it comes out. The background came out just the way I wanted it to. Now we're going to move on to the colors of the cat itself. Well, we're finally making some progress on this one. I've got most of the upper colors done, the browns and the tans, and what's mainly left to do is the uh, white around the chest area and a little bit more color down in the lower quarter. I sped this portion up to give you an overview of uh, what goes into actually drawing the uh, ocelot in pastels. Here I've switched over to pan pastels. With a little rubber smudger that we have here, you can do some very nice uh, shading detail with it. What I attempt to do here is to get a slightly darker undercolor, which would uh, serve as the shadow portion of it, and then go over it with a lighter highlight. Here I'm using a paper stump to blend the dark and the light colors together. Also, you can use an artist paintbrush for very delicate blending. can also be used for applying pan pastels. Here I'm applying a light glaze. This just represents a little bit of the reflected orange color from the surroundings. I use a little blue to reflect the sky colors from above into the white. And here is the finished product.
Well, that about does it for the Ocelot picture. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun picture to do. We started out with the underpainting that I did with the airbrush and India ink, and we finished up with the colored pastels. In the next video, I'll show you how I map the picture and frame it. I make my own frames, and you'll see the full process on how that is done. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.